CO2 is dooming the atmosphere of the, of, of the world, of the planet. CO2, the potential for methane is, is insanity. That could happen up in the Arctic. So what I wanted to do was talk about this Forbes magazine article that came out. There was two articles, Business Insider and Forbes discussed this. And this article to me is about something that probably, you know, a lot of you, my peers, we're not scientists again, I always say this, maybe not, don't know what AMOC is. And really what it is, is they, scientists have long known about this warming hole in the North Atlantic Ocean, which is an area immune to warming of Earth oceans. This cool zone in the North Atlantic Ocean appears to be associated with a slowdown in the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, which is AMOC, A-M-O-C, guys. One of the key drivers in global ocean circulation, which completely controls weather, climate, so much of it does. There was a study in the journal Nature that outlined research by a team of Yale University and University of Southampton scientists. They had found that evidence that that Arctic ice loss is potentially negatively impacting the planet's largest ocean circulation system. The scientists, they have, um, they do have some idea how this is going to affect the world. I mean, this is really uncharted territory we don't we've never lived through and they they say that uh, AMOC being one of the largest current systems in the Atlantic Ocean and the world generally speaking it transports warm and salty water northward from the tropics to south and east of Greenland this warm water it cools to ambient water temperature then it sinks as it is saltier and thus denser than the relatively more fresh surrounding water. The dense mass of water sinks to the base of the North Atlantic Ocean and is pushed south along the abyss of the Atlantic Ocean. Okay? So this process, whereby the water is transported into the North Northern Atlantic Ocean, it acts to distribute ocean water globally. What's more important, and the basis of concern here, and I'll probably a lot of people already know this, but we may not, right? Is that the mechanism is one of the most efficient ways that the Earth transports heat from the tropics to the northern latitudes. So the warm water transported from the tropics to the North Atlantic releases heat to the atmosphere, playing a key role in warming of Western Europe. So you may have heard of the... Um, one of the more popular components of the AMOC, the Gulf Stream, which brings the warm tropical water to the um, western coast of Europe. So evidence is growing that the comparatively cold zone within the northern Atlantic could be due to a slowdown of this global ocean water certification directly caused by the garbage in the air. Hence, the slowdown in the planet's ability to transfer heat from the tropics to the northern latitudes. Cold zone could be due to the melting of the ice in Arctic and Greenland. This would, it, it could cause a cold freshwater cap over the North Atlantic, in, in, inhibiting the sinking of those salty tropical waters. Now this would in effect slow down that global circulation and hinder the transport of warm waters north. Now there's a couple of different thought process that go into this, but the melting of that Arctic sea ice, and why is that melting? Why is that melting? Hmm? Why? It has increased, and satellite images are, they indicate that in September, the Arctic sea ice is 30% less today than it was in 1979, and I wouldn't bet that it's more so we it's been a trend, you know, that this this sea ice melting during the summer months, it's not slowing, okay? I've been talking about this. Everybody's been talking about this. So we're going to see a continued weakening of this global ocean circulation system, and it is no joke. 
So the scenario of a collapse in AMOC in the global ocean certification, I mean, uh, circulation, it was the premise for that movie. Do you remember the day after tomorrow? Everybody was freezing in New York City, whatever. It's, it's a movie, okay? It may not be exactly what happens. The... Um, the, 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 our geologists, you know, all over the world have studied events in the past similar to what appears to be happening today. And truthfully, scientists are really not sure what lies ahead. They really don't. Uh, this, this, uh, this change, the AMOC, the decline, you know, declination to two-thirds of its former strength, which may be leading to some harsher winters in the UK and Western Europe, but that is not to go against global warming. So people have to understand that that is not against global warming. The cycle of fresher, warmer war water moving north over uh, southbound salter, denser cold water, that, that, that AMOC is so complex. And if, it, if there is a specter of a total collapse a paradoxical warming scenario that would lead to far harsher winters and expanding ice sheets in the North Atlantic. It's not impossible, but it's a consequence of a warming climate, of a globally warming climate. So, do, there was a do. paper published in Science Advances where a Yale geophysicist, Wei Lu, and his co-authors demonstrate what they say is a significant bias in existing climate models towards AMOC stability and show how increased heat and CO2 in the atmosphere could directly lead to this collapse. I believe it's happening because of the people I speak with and the people that I read. Climate models overstabilize the AMOC, Lou told this uh, business insider. The models show it's very stable, but even under global warming, they have only moderate weakening. The result, even as the rest of the world heats up, Parts of Europe could see some cooling, you know, but they're talking about hundreds of years. I don't believe that's hundreds of years. I really don't see that happening. He says, Lou says, the next stop, uh, step for researchers is to run similar experiments across a diverse range of complex models. More model data will shine a brighter light on just how a total AMOX collapse, how likely it is, and what regions would be impacted.